Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to look at a different example of a class. So in the previous videos, I have used books. So I've made a class uh, for books. In this case, we're going to make a, a class for symbol properties. So we're just basically just going to look at the properties of a symbol. You know, a symbol can have the ask price, the bid price, the, the um, highest point or the lowest you can have the ask low ask high those type of things so in this case i named the class what symbol prop and then again i'm making it public so i can be able to access the member variables in other functions like the on init function because that's where i'm typing all my code you know so basically i've created the class this is the body of the class this is the body of the class as you can see then again i used a constructor in this case i didn't need to put public again i think in the previous video there was public there i didn't need to do this again why because it's already here so this public covers the whole thing from here from here till the end of the body of the code right so basically it covers the whole thing so i didn't need to put public again now in this case um as you can see the constructor takes in the parameters of 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 string type uh category you want to know what type of uh asset it is if it's an index index if it's a currency you know all these things then we also take in a double type which is the ask price of the symbol we also take in the double type which is looking at the symbols bid price and then like you saw in the previous video i equate the parameter taken in here from the category i equate it to the member variable called sim category and again you need to look here the caps are different for this one it has a capital s this one has a lower uh, letter s lower letter s and lower letter s so basically all these here they have um they have upper letter s's and this ones have lower letter s so i equate the main um variable member to the parameter taken in so as we take in parameters here it is going to equate whatever the category we give it is going to equate it to the same category same with the remaining three right so that's how we're going to give information using the constructor we're going to give these here information using the constructor then in our on init function don't forget guys we always have to create an instance of the class basically we have to create an object the object we created is called new symbol so again guys for us to create an instance of the class or an object we have to type the class name which is symbol prop as you can see it here symbol prop and then we type the object name and the object name here is new symbol we type equals new and then the class name again open and close brackets semicolon and now using the the object here which is the instance created using that object we can access the constructor from the class and and as you can see the, the constructor is called symbol props as you can see right so the constructor is called symbol props so if i was to try and use the object again new symbol you'll see that we will be able to also access the member variables here but we're going to use the the constructor to give information to the member variables and as you can see i already gave parameters to the um constructor here as you can see this is the constructor symbol props open brackets and close brackets i just have to move a bit on the right hand side so you can see close brackets then within the the first variable that is taken in or the first parameter that is taken in by the constructor is the category of the symbol and you know it's a it's a string type so as you can see here we always use symbol info string symbol info double symbol info integer and all those to get information from the symbol right so in this case now i use symbol info string 
and then specific string uh, the the symbol since i don't have the name of the symbol we're just going to look at a specific symbol whichever symbol we attach the ea to that's the symbol that's going to appear then we're going to get the category of the symbol now this is the first parameter taken in and then if we look again the second parameter that should be taken in should be of type double which is the ask price then we're going to use symbol info double to take in the so where is it and just move this a bit so we're going to use symbol info double as you can see symbol info double to take in the ask price and yet again we are going to look at the specific symbol we're going to attach the ea to and then we're going to get the ask price and then again the final parameter given to this is the bid price and we're going to again look at a specific symbol we're going to attach this to and the bid price of that symbol so that is how we have now given the object new symbol information so from there on we can now print out the information that we gave this but of course i'm not going to give this um object and information on my own because i don't know which uh chart it is going to be on so basically the information will come on its own from the specific chart in this case let's just run and see what we get first let me just close this so we can get a proper um fresh uh, alert so i'll just open it again and then go back there and then run this so it's going to basically this is nasdaq it's uh, attaching the ea2 so let's see the category should be index ask price should be one of those and then bid price should be one of those as you can see symbol category indices which is correct because nasdaq is an index then the ask price the symbol ask price is 11362,8 and the bid price is 11358.98 as you can see this is the bid price 11358.98 i think the ask price is hidden so i would have to um let me see if i can make the ask price visible uh show ask price yes so if we see the ask price there and try and zoom in or go in a smaller time frame so we can see the as you can see the ask price is 11362.80 and that is the same thing that was given to us here as 11362.80 you see bid price is 11358 11358.98 and then again it's of type the category is indices yes so let me just close this and we'll, we will return to our code so yes guys i just had to make an example uh using a different type of class and i hope this example makes sense so you can have a class of anything and yes guys you can also play around with different types of classes and yeah i'll see you in the next video